Okay, so today I'm going to give you the entire list for the phonetic alphabet because I haven't been doing them every day, so I want to just you know get to the end. And so we're gonna just look at each one. I wrote each one down. So I just follow along, and you can make it your list, or you can add what you feel is necessary. Now again, we know the phonetic code and the sounds we're making are T, toes, T, N, M, R, and we're going to go for five. It's L. Okay, and let me see here. I think I made a little mistake here. I gotta fix this. I'm not perfect, but I want this to be perfect for the video. This should be law. Let me change this. It's law. And this should be cow. Okay. A little too fast here. Okay. Then we got fox and B, and then we've got toes for 10. Okay, no problem. No perfect. Okay, so following on, we're going to do um, 11. Is, it's like tack, like tattoo. 10, tomb, tire, towel, dish. We got tack, dove. We got tube, and we got nose. Then we go to 21 is net, 22 is none, 23 is nam, like Vietnam, 24 is nero, 25 is nail, 26 is nacho, I didn't ever think I made, but I corrected myself, 27 is neck, and 28 is knife, and then 30, I'm oh, sorry, 29 is knob, like doorknob, and 30 is mouse, okay, come back up here. 31 is Matt, and then man is 32, mommy is 33, a mirror, mirror like a horse, 34, mule, 35, match, the T is silent, match is 36, mug is 37, 38 is movie, mop, 39, 40, rose, rat, 41, Rain, 42. Ram, 43. Rower. W is just placeholder, of course. 44. And roll, 45. Roach, 46. Rock, 47. Roof is 48. Rope is 49. And lace is 50. And loot is 51. Lion, 52. Lamb 53. Now I'm gonna give you an example here. You can actually use both letters to make words as well. So for one example here, um, I couldn't really think of a good word for 54. Um, you could you could put like lorry or something like that. But I just want to show you an example. You can use little rat, so it has both um, letters in each word. Moving on, Lily is 55. Leech, 56. Lock, 57. Lava, 58. We have lip, 59. And cheese for 60. Okay. Coming back up here. We've got 61 is sheet. We got chain, 62. We got um, chime, 63. Cherry, 54. Jail, that works. Jail. Choo choo for 66, chalk 67, um, chief for 68, ship 69, kiss 70, kite 71, can 72, comb be silent 73, car for 74, coal 75, coach 76, or as couch, coach as well. Uh, kick, 77, cave, 78, cab, for 79, and then we have a vase, for 80, fat, 81, fan, 82, um, we have foam, for 83, fur, 84, uh, foul, 85, 
fish, 86. And there's the F word. <laughs> um, you know, I like to swear, so I won't say it, but that's one of the best words to use. So um, we use that. We have Fife, it's like a little flute kind of thing. Uh, fob, it's a little pocket in your jeans. Fob, and then bus for 90. Okay. And then we'll finish up here with um, bat. And we have uh, bomb. And then we have, which is 93. Uh, 94 is bear. 95 is ball. 96 is beach. 97 is book. 98 is beef. 99 is babe. And then 100 is disease. Okay, so that's the entire list. And just review that as you will. Now I'm going to show you how you practice with these numbers. So let's say we just arbitrarily make up something. Let's say we do this. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then here we'll go 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. So these are these are ten places. So we're gonna put down some numbers here. So we'll go uh, 81, 32, 32. We'll go 43, uh, 66, 54, and then we can go 99, 38. And this will be 72, 21, and 11. Okay, so these are numbers that we're going to have here. So what you would do is you would make a story. And we'll just start. So what we have here, we've got a fat. And so we just start from there. So you see a fat man, okay? A fat man, and he is riding on a ram. That's ram. The ram hops on a choo-choo train, okay, and he sees a little rat, okay? So again, the fat man is on a ram. He gets on the ram on a choo-choo train, and on the train is a little rat, okay? The little, the little rat name is Babe, and this is 38. Um, he's watching a movie, okay, in the movie there's a can, out of the can comes a net, and it falls all over, or, or it has uh, tattoos, use that example, okay, so then you go backwards, you got your, your tattoo, you got your net, can, movie, you got babe's the name, this is a little rat, Choo choo, ram, man, fat. And you can actually see that. And so that's how you hold that. Each one has a picture and you place it there. Now, another thing you can do, see if we can make room for this, you could do this. You could say, if you were doing a list like this here, let's just line this whole number down again. Okay. And so the ram gets on the choo choo train and he sees a little rat. We have enough room here on this thing, I'll just come down here. And so then the babe sees a movie and then can, and then there's a net and there's 11. Okay, what you can do is if you're taking a long number. Okay, so it's like 20 digits. You would group them into twos. So you would see, you could say, um, fat man. See? You say ram on the train. And then link these two together. This would be a little rat named Babe. There's two here. And then the movie, there's a can. 
and then there is a net over the tattoos okay so you can group it up a lot of times when you want to memorize something it has a has more than one number so you want to group it into groups that are easy for you to manipulate so it's it's good to have one word for for the two but it's also good to be able to make stories to link double pairs together okay so now what, what i do for example if i want to remember a phone number okay let's say I have Pittsburgh is four one two. And just make this up. So don't call it. Okay. So you can go uh, seven two six eight four nine one. Okay. So I always I always know the area code is four one two. So I just call it Pittsburgh. Okay. And then here I could break it down. I could say, for example. I could say here now this is a this is is can and this is a shoe or this could be a cow with nachos you see and then I have a I have a fur and I have a I have a bat okay so I just make a story with those with those numbers and I could memorize it. Okay, so that's how it works. Or let's say, for example, if someone's birthday is May twenty fifth. Okay, then I just know that May, and I see a nail. So I make a story with May twenty fifth, and it is a nail. And if they're born, let's say they're they're born in uh, 84 so then i just make a story linking it to the fur like a fur coat i just have all kinds of stories so what you want to do when you have the list you want to personify so for example if i have i'll just make up some i'll break up some numbers here let's say i have uh, 27 okay now, I I know that that's a uh, neck, okay. Now, in but in my imagination, this is a giraffe. So when I see the neck, I think of a, a giraffe with a long neck. That's my picture. So when I make a story. It's always involving a giraffe because a giraffe has a long neck. Or if I have um, forty-two. 42 is rain. Well, I always have something being struck by lightning. It's just like a thunderstorm. So it's raining, but it's lightning is hitting the thing. Okay? So I find it. So whenever I have a number, uh, that's my go to picture. Okay? And so that's very important. Now, let's say, for example, Again, you have 52 and 86, okay? These are two pictures. Some people, they like to make one long word with the sound, the la, na, fush. Okay, well, not, you can do that, but why go through all that? This is just lion fish, okay? So this is a lion and this is a fish. So. I put those two pictures together in some kind of way to make it make sense. This is lionfish. Okay. So, again, it will take you some time, not a whole lot of time, but you should put in the time to make sure that you memorize these 100 words. And it really is not hard because if you personify them, then you can do that. Now, I have seen other lists of people have, people have made where they didn't make the phonetic code like this. Like they, they didn't say neck. They chose to make two words that had the sounds. Like for example, um, if you have 
if you have a 99. Okay, so 999 would be would be a B, and it would be a B. Now again, I made it babe. Okay, they would do something else. They might say um, a big band or a um, bad boy. They just so they have a picture of a baby. Again, it's up to you. Do what you want, and. Some people like say they they enjoy that because I guess they have more flexibility because it's easier to find a word. But um, you know I've been doing this for over thirty years, so I like to keep it simple. You know, what I learn is what I teach. So basically, that's what you need to do. You need to, to go back and uh, take a look at that list of one hundred words and work with it until you have it you know memorized. And I recommend doing groups of 10 at a time, 1 to 20, it's fine. But it all goes by the sound. And again, I like to you people to show off, so I would give them my, my list. You can actually type it out. And then hands on list and say, okay, I'm gonna to try to memorize the word and just give me give me a, a picture and I'll tell you what number it falls into. And so they say, oh, Rose, and you go, oh, that's 40. So they don't know that you're using a system. They think you're just, you're just having a list, you just memorize a bunch of words, okay? But this is, this is a great system that's been used for a long, long time to remember things because these are placeholders and these are symbols. And I'm going to give you um, more examples and more, and more things to do with this. That's, that's practical. But I don't like to make videos that are too long because I want you to hold on to certain concepts and then take it from there and then move forward. Okay? So that's as far as I'll go. But again, the list is all here. You can you can um, write it out, go back and look at it again, and then work on it, memorize it, and um, get ready to use it because it's a, it's a, it's a great system. And again, you can make your own words up if you find that you have a better word than rats or ram or whatever I have here. Just make it your own word, but make sure you personify it so it becomes yours. Okay. So until next time, this is John from Live Academy saying thank you. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, hit notification, and share and watch it again and then teach someone how to do it. Take care.